Welcome back to Morning Scramble. 21,000 children here in Arizona right now near, need a forever home. That is 21,000 too many. Joining me now is Crystal Ziegler from A Place to Call Home. You are an adoption specialist, and we uh -huh. always enjoy having you here. I uh, want to talk about the adorable 11-year-old <laughs> Joseph. As soon as I saw his yeah. pictures last night, I thought, wow, this kid probably has the best personality. He does. He is so fun. I mean, even look at how much fun he had with those pictures. And his fashion sense is great, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> energetic, joyful personality that just comes he, out in the camera. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, he loves Minecraft and comics. I don't know. I, he hasn't gone to Comic-Con, but I'm sure he would have loved to have done that because so, he's very much into comics. Yeah, and, so he's very much into being mm -hmm. a boy, very energetic, yep. loves to ride his bike. Um, <laughs> what I really loved about him is that he enjoys family game nights. He does. We love yeah, that, too. Yeah, he is looking forward to being a part of a family and someone just loving him you know, as he is, with all his great personality and energy, and um, he likes to be a leader. He likes to take charge in the classroom and lead other children, and um, he's just a funny guy. Look at him. He's just got great personality and um, loving. Um, he likes Ninja Legos. Aww. So um, he's, he's just all around guy. Yeah. You know, um, he's had a rough time. He uh -huh. does have a sister who's not in a home with him right now, and he's been in care for a little while. So. Well, and that's a problem here yeah. in the state, too, where the siblings end up being separated because there just aren't enough homes right now, right? Yeah, there's there's not enough homes for siblings, so they end up having to break up sibling groups. If there's a large sibling group, they have to put the younger ones together and the older ones together, or who they think might have a bond with the child, mm -hmm. and then they have to rely on the foster parents to help them see each other because they don't get to grow up together. Well, tell me about the time. adoption process because, yeah. uh, as I understand it, it's free of charge it when you is. adopt here in the state of Arizona. It is. Everybody's always surprised when mm -hmm. they hear that, but it doesn't cost you anything to adopt through the state of Arizona. Um, and it's just, it's classes. It's 10 weeks of classes and uh, a home study. We're kind of a little bit in your business mm -hmm. <laughs> to know about as you who should you be. are. Right, because we're trusting a child with you. Um, and then just some little things to your home that you need to do, um, like a uh, fire extinguisher, smoke alarms, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then you create a profile of the child that you're looking for. So, um, the age that you're looking for, the needs you feel like you can mm -hmm. deal with, and then we start looking for that for you. So, if somebody was uh, looking at Joseph's adorable face right now, they're thinking, yeah. wow, we'd love to have him in our home and he be a part be of fun. our family. Uh, yeah. What do they need to do? Um, they just need to contact us at 480-456-0549 uh, or um, www.tocallhome.com. To call home. That's all you yes. need to do. 21,000 kids right now. They need a forever family, they and we do. certainly want to help. Crystal, thank you so much. You are always a breath of fresh air, and we appreciate all you do for the children here in Arizona. Thank you, Kathy. All right. When we come back here on Morning Scramble, Father's Day fun. Don't go away.